In this lesson, we learn how to make residual plots and interpret them. Here is a table of data. The least squares regression line is first found. The least squares regression line for this data is y equals 2.15x plus 2.35. The scatter plot displaying the data is as shown. The line of best fit is the least squares regression line. We will now make a residual plot. To do this, we add two more rows to our table. To find the predicted y values, we substitute each x value into the least squares regression equation. Substituting x is 1, we obtain an answer of 4.5. When x equals 2, we obtain 6.65, then 8.8, 10.95, These values were obtained by substitution into the least squares regression equation. Now each residual is found by subtracting the predicted y values from each actual y value. That is for the first point. 6 minus 4.5 equals 1.5. We plot this residual value on the y-axis of our residual plot for the first point where x equals 1. For the second point, the residual is 4.5 minus 6.65, which is minus 2.15. Since this is negative, we plot the point below the axis on the residual plot. Then 9.5 minus 8.8 .8 equals 0 0.7. 10 minus 10.95 equals 0 0.95 and 14 minus 13.1 equals 0 0.9. The residuals calculated are equal to the distance of each point above or below the trend line. The trend line on the scatter plot is equivalent to the x-axis on the residual plot. For the first point, it is above the trend line and so it is above the x-axis on the residual plot. The second point is below the trend line and therefore is below the x-axis of the residual plot. This is the case for all points. Positive residual values in points 1, 3 and 5 are above the axis on the residual plot, while negative residuals are below the axis. The residuals on the residual plot show no clear pattern. They are randomly scattered above and below the x-axis, and so the linear regression model appears appropriate. Here is another set of data. The least squares regression line for this data is y equals 1.75x plus 2.75. Here is the scatter plot with this regression line shown. We will now make the residual plot. To find the predicted y values, we substitute each x into the regression equation. When x equals 3, we obtain an answer of 8. When x equals 5, we obtain 11.5. Then 15, 18.5, and 22. The residuals are found by subtracting the predicted y values from the actual y values. 10 minus 8 equals 2. We plot the residual of 2 on the plot where x equals 3. 11 minus 11.5 equals minus 0.5 which we plot below the axis 
at the height of minus 0 0.5, where x equals 5. We then obtain minus 2. minus 2.5 and 3. This completes the residual plot. We can see a clear curved pattern in the residual plot. A curved U-shape can pass through the points. Some of the residuals are also large. This means that the points on the residual plot are far from the x-axis. We conclude that the linear model may not be appropriate, and a non-linear model may be more appropriate. Visit mathsathome.com for further videos and practice.